Ghosts from Britain Living with humans What shenanigans will happen next Where's that Katie Wicks? Ghosts! <laughs> Dip it again. What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. This is Ghosts, Season 3, Episode 3, The Woodworm Men? The Woodworm Men. Ooh, what is that going to be? I don't like the sound of that. Oh, man, unless it's just people... Oh, maybe they've got, like, termites or something in the, in the wood, in the house. And that's what Mary calls them. Okay, actually, now I'm thinking about it, that's exactly what it's going to be. Now, if you want early access to my videos, go to patreon.com slash fwci. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube as well, because it helps the channel out a lot. And I'm trying to reach as many people with these reactions as I possibly can, because I love this show. I really do. Every episode, I just fall in love with it more and more and more. And I'm, I'm just truly blown away by how into this show I'm getting, because I've reacted to a whole bunch of stuff. Shit's Creek, The Boys, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, even Taskmaster. I've never been so eager to get into more of the story of any show. And the more I get into it, the better the episodes are getting. I can't gush enough about this show. And then we've got a Nappet introduced in the last episode. So talk about feeling uh, overwhelmed with joy from this show here. And when I started this channel, that was one of the things I wanted to make sure I did was have fun watching the shows that I watch and it reminds me a little bit of Ted Lasso that was a, just a very enriching show to enjoy and share with everybody through these reactions and Ghosts gives me more joy than that even I don't know Ted Lasso was pretty pretty goddamn lovely Roy Kent and Jamie Tart I mean do I have to say any more but I'm sure that Ghost is going to win my heart by the time I get to the end of the final season which I just found out there's five seasons of this show uh, Amazon and Paramount Plus only have four, but I have tracked down season five, so I'll do that. I just didn't know it existed until earlier today, so good for me. There's a whole other season of this show that I'm going to be able to enjoy, so let's get into it. This is Ghosts, season three, episode three, The Woodworm Men. Uh... Oh. Oh. Fumigation? Woodward men? Okay. We all knew they were coming today. Well, they scared me. Everything scare you, am I right? Yeah, it's true. You'd be scared of a teddy bear if it spoke. Actually, that is quite scary, but you know... <laughs> oh, they're just woodworm men. Woodworm men? Wait, why does that disturb you, Mary? Well, no, yeah, they're, um, they're fumigating. Fumigating? Yeah, it means we can't go back in because if we inhale their mist, then we'll, I don't know, like die or something. Tell her that it's to get rid of bugs, for the love of God. The TV's on the movie channel and Kitty Grease is on at four. So I think you'll love it. How oh, lovely. Yeah, Kitty would love Grease. Gosh, I'd better hurry. It'd be nice to have some... <laughs> <laughs> you sleeping outside by choice. Yeah, it will save us money. Plus it's fun. It's fun until a wolf eats your eye. Oh. How many wolves are here? Bracing fresh air, camaraderie, horseplay in the lake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hotel, luxury, walls, windows, roof. <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> Nothing more luxurious than a roof. I am outdoorsy, actually. Proper outdoorsy. Just so you know. Does he always so, talk to so, us so. as if we're up in the yeah. air? Thank you, Thomas. Why does he always talk to you like you're up in the air? I probably have to phone his mum, get her to pick him up in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're on a laugh, are you? With your mate's little dead mate. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck for Mike, to be completely honest. <sighs> it's crazy that the ghosts just hang out inside the house during the fumigation. I mean, I get it. You're going to die twice. Eight letter. Occupied anatomy. Occupied anatomy? What? Make sure you keep the noise down, I'm reading. <laughs> Busy body! Oh, here we go. Yes, I wondered how long it would take for you to resort to name calling. Wow, she just picked that fight. Anatomy, busy body, busy body. Yeah, okay, fair call, Robin. Make sure you keep it down. But yeah, busy body. <laughs> <laughs> right? Very good. 
Yes, uh, yes, I knew that. Just checking. Right. <clears throat> oh, Captain, I thought you were Mr. Camperman. Just different errors? What's that for? What's that? This is my tent. That's your tent. We'll see who's outdoorsy. Oh, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to win this competition hands down. With my expertise and, and my... I do like the captain and Pat as a bit of a duo. Have you really put up a tent? Or have you just ordered other people about? Because rubber dubba rubber dubba rubber dubba. That's beside the point. <laughs> Nonsense. There's more than one way to make a shelter. And we've got plenty of useful kit. Can't we get a ghost to go and help Mike? I, I suppose he does have some expertise <clears throat> in camping. Oh, sorry Cap. Get out, 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 get out. This doesn't work, Mary. We've seen you try it. And what are you up to, Kitty? I'm going to watch Grease. Do you want to watch it with me? Of course not. Alison says I'll... Give it a go. You'll enjoy it. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. Ooh. Around the house singing or anything, are you? No, just watching. Mm? Well, don't turn it up. <laughs> I can't. Well, make sure you don't. I can't. Well, good. Lady Button, why are you so uptight? Why are you just walking around... Being a busybody. Now, extra point for who can tell me what this knot is called. Uh, well, that's a reef knot. No, it's a clove hitch. Damn it, and blast it to hell. <laughs> this is kind of adorable. It's dead smart, that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Wonder how Mike's getting on. Oh, I'm on it. Yeah, <laughs> how is Mike getting on? Okay. What are you doing down there? <laughs> Can't see you, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair call. No, it's hopeless. Modern men, eh? Like this one? Yes. Excellent. Uh, well, no, there's some good ones here. And over here, please. He's so desperate to be a part of all this. The greater surface area allowing the oxygen to feed the flames. Yes, Captain. Very good answer. Uh, Gold star. Uh. <laughs> At last! <laughs> Has she seen Grace before? Or is this her first time seeing it? Is this a reaction for by Kitty? Dip it again. He loves food, doesn't he? Uh, Pat, that's a lot, mate. Pacing the muse across Europe in search of inspiration. Paris, Venice, Vienna. Different sights, sounds, and smells to- Really, Thomas? Or are you just talking shit? What's Vienna like? Really nice. All right, Mr. Wordsmith. Nice is all you got for us? Nice. It's, it's okay, it's nice. Make sure you're all right. She's fine. Yeah, great. Cool. Thank you. No worries. You okay? Yep. Mike, stop being a petty uh, asshole. Oh, Mary, oh, you simply must watch Grease with me. All the boys have wet hair and they sing about their cars. Mary! <laughs> In a nutshell, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sucked in. Never any fun around here. To a nightmare on Elm Street. Don't worry, I'll tell you the whole story later. <gasps> no. Worst oh. Dream I've ever had. Dennis changed his hair. Oh no. She's going to be having nightmares. Well, I hope he likes the cold, because he's going to be cold. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. Hey, he got a tent up. I'm impressed with that. I've got better things to do, you know, than traipse around the... Oh, good. I feel bad for Lady Button here. She just doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> oh, they shed their skin like serpents. <laughs> Mike, well done, my friend. What kind of heater was that? That thing lit him up red. I mean, I know those bar heaters get like orange, but that thing was insane. Probably just scared of the dark. Suppose we ought to investigate. Yeah. <laughs> You guys sneaking around for your ghosts? Oh, 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 o
<laughs> they both chickened out. Come on. You went to Venice? Indeed. What was it like? I always wanted to go. Very nice. You are so full of shit. Well, I can't remember every single detail. Sounds like you can't remember any detail. Mm. Wasn't inspired. No matter how beautiful the landscape, nothing came. Alright, cop that, Venice. Oh, he got diarrhea in Venice. Oh, I thought he'd really like it, high school romance. Yes, but I didn't like the man chasing the girl. Well, he's the man of her dreams. <laughs> yes. And he won't stop until he gets her. That's what being in love is like. <laughs> oh no, this is going bad. I hope she gets him. <laughs> then we can all sleep again. You chicken shits. Hey, since we're all around the campfire, we should tell ghost stories. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> oh no, Kitty's gonna tell a ghost story for the ages. Well, this one's actually a true story, actually. It's about my friend, Susan. <laughs> She'd stick her hand in letterbox and he'd give it a lick, you know. <laughs> oh, no. You want a pizza? Yep. <laughs> nice one. Cheers, man. Very slowly it began to turn to water until she could finally see its face. It was a day! Oh, my God. Brian! <laughs> Julian! Brother, where are you? <laughs> Oh my god, why are these two freaking out so bad? I'm not comfortable, Patrick. Are you comfortable? I, I don't mind swapping. <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep. Kitty, please, we can't stay up all night. <laughs> but Freddy Krueger is going to kill her in her dreams, Alison. Wrapping you up in his arms. <laughs> Just no more talking. Alright. Oh my god, this is hilarious. This is like a bunch of kids all in a tent together and they just can't control their excitement and they just want to keep talking. Oh, Patrick will tell you the story. This one's actually a true story, actually. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Disqualified, I had help. Mr. Outdoorsy. <laughs> it's all my fault. Oh, that's Julian. I know what makes feel safe. Come on! <laughs> what the hell is up with those two? Danny Zuko. And the other man. Knicky? Freddy. Freddy? Oh no. <laughs> same sunrise over the same house in the same tiny piece of England. I travelled miles and was unchanged when I could have been here and transported. It's no fault of the sun if the eye sees not its beauty. That was really poetic, Tom. Yeah, that was fucking deep. Like a big yellow bun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you, you lost it. I'd like to present you, if I could, with your camping, <laughs> Forrester. Very, very cute. And so, I present to you the Teamwork Award. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> it's a very high honour. Why does that just break me a tiny little bit? Blast <laughs> 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 I haven't seen her do that for a while. Bed? At this time, never have I known such a feckless bunch of good-for-nothings. It's better. <laughs> the boiler man's coming at two. Boiler man. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Another great episode, as all of these episodes of Ghosts are... The story, I will say the story with Julian and Robin, that was a fun story, but it did I miss something? It didn't seem to be earned. I don't know why they were so badly freaked out all of a sudden, but I'm sure I probably just missed something. Uh, but yeah, that story didn't really connect with me. But the main story of Allison and Mike, you know, camping outside and... You know, it was there wasn't a great deal that happened in this episode. They didn't push much forward and... We don't get many episodes of this show like that. Usually something significant happens every single episode, it feels like. But this one was just very sweet. It was just a nice camping trip out with 
the ghosts and hanging out with Allison and you know sharing these stories and it was really nice to get to see them relax and converse in a more civil kind of way instead of just like having everyone around being chaotic all the time uh, I really enjoyed you know just seeing them all sort of do that the story with uh, Kitty watching Greece and then halfway through it turns into a nightmare on Elm Street might be one of my favorite little story threads from the entire series if I'm being honest I just think it was very funny because she was yeah like oof this movie took a turn. It's okay, Kitty. Grease is actually quite good. It's not Event Horizon where it starts good and then left turn into Foxville 45 minutes into the movie, as I learned at the age of seven by accident. Very sweet moment at the end with Pat giving the, uh, you know, imaginary awards to the captain and to Allison. I really like the duo of Captain and Pat. I think they're just a great uh, pairing because there's so much uh, common thread between like Boy Scouts and military they really work well together and it feels like they're starting to kind of figure that out that those two characters can be you know quite good with each other I don't think I like the bickering I like when everyone's like cooperating and trying to help each other but the writing is great the acting is great the performance is great the, everything about this show just absolutely kills no pun intended. Can't wait to see the next episode. Hopefully we get some more Nappa in the next episode. That's what we were missing from this one here. But let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this one. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Patreon.com slash FWCI if you want to support the channel further. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. Ta-ta and farewell. Julian Kitty. Thomas Pat. Headless Man.